Hello YouTube. You know one of my least favorite tasks in woodworking is sanding. And it really bothers me because the hose that I hook up to my sander is constantly tugging on the sander. And no matter what I do, I try to prop it up, set it on something, it's always pulling on the sander. Makes the sander feel like it's three times heavier than it should be. And at the end of the day, it makes uh, my, my wrist really tired. It hurts my wrist, my joints. And today I'm going to try to come up with a solution for that that's very cheap and easy and I hope to share it here with you guys. So this is my roll around shop made uh, portable vacuum cyclone thing. And what I wanted to do with this to help alleviate my problem is I wanted to build a boom arm that comes off the side here and it's going to hold up the weight of my, of my hose anywhere I want to uh, go do some sanding or using my domino machine or whatever. I have a couple requirements for it. I, I've seen like uh, the Festool one they have, but that thing is just fixed in space. I want something that can retract and get put neatly away when it's not in use. And uh, let me show you the solution that I came up with for that. Right, let me show you a couple of things I'm going to use, a couple of parts I'm going to use here to put this thing together. The first thing is, uh, this thing's called a grip head. I bought this at a local camera shop and the photographers use it to build you know, uh, uh, structures to hold cameras at weird angles or lighting and stuff like that. And you can slip a tube in here into the, one of the holes and then this thing articulates. You can tighten it up and it'll lock into place. I think I paid like 20 bucks for it. It was in a bin. They had a bunch of used ones. So this is the first part that I'm going to use to put on my little cyclone cart. Next thing you're going to need is some tubing. And my grip head here allows for three quarter and one inch tubing. I got the bigger one and you have to get tubing not pipe because tubing is measured on the outside diameter whereas pipe is measured on the inside diameter and you know what's exactly one inch out, uh, OD tubing? Shower curtain rod. So I stole this from the upstairs bedroom and you always want to steal it from the upstairs bedroom because then the wife doesn't find out you took it till hopefully before Amazon shows up with a new one. Anyhow it fits in here just right, tightens up so we're going to go ahead and find a way to mount this on the uh, cyclone cart. So my next step is to come up with some sort of a mounting system for this. And at first I thought, well, I'm going to do some elaborate, you know, bearings and all this stuff. But really what I need to do is just something really simple. I think I'm just going to grab a couple scrap blocks of pine. And I'm going to drill a one inch hole all the way through. And then I'm going to have another one down here with a uh, hole that's only going to go halfway through. So I can slide my tubing into it. And then this piece will articulate up whenever I need to use it. And then when I don't need to use it, I can just store it away. Let's see how that idea works out.
Well, folks, I hope you guys have found this video at least a little bit useful. And even if you don't build one just like mine, hopefully it gives you some sort of an idea of some way that you could build your own and alleviate a little bit of that fatigue that we get from a hose pulling on us when we're doing some sanding. And if anything, just, you know, make sanding suck a little bit less. It's the least fun of all the woodworking tasks. If you uh, did find this video useful, please subscribe. Hopefully some of my future videos will help you in some way. You guys have a great day.